Okay, so we're going to be solving this word problem using uh, a really neat uh, tool that is used in math in Singapore called bar models. Bar models are a way to visually show um, numbers and to illustrate the problem in a pictorial way. Um, what we're going to do is have a certain uh, set of um, guidelines before we start. Those are rules. All right, so the first is we always read the entire problem first to figure out who and what is involved in the problem. Once you figure out who and what's involved in the problem, then we draw bars for each who and each, um, so yes, each who, uh, that means the person involved, and, and then we know what the what is. All right, so let's read the problem first, and here we go. It says, Maya had some stamps. She gave seven stamps to her younger brothers. Maya then had 14 stamps. How many stamps did Maya have at first? Okay, so there are, there's really just one person involved in this, um, and it's Maya. Uh, her brothers are, are involved, but they are being given stamps by Maya. All right, so Maya is involved in the problem, and what's involved in the problem? This whole problem is about stamps. So... We're going to first draw our label, um, which is, is called Maya's Stamps. Maya's Stamps. Okay, and then we're going to draw a bar for Maya's Stamps. Okay. It says, Maya had some stamps. Whenever you see a period or a comma, stop. All right, Maya had some stamps. Stop. All right. So we drew a bar for Maya's stamps right here. We drew a bar for Maya's stamps right here. But we don't know how many she had. So we're going to label that with a question mark. Always draw a, a length bar, a length to show how far it goes and we're going to put a question mark because we don't know how long from here to here actually is. Alright, next what we're going to do is continue reading. I've taken care of the information there so I place a check mark. Alright, she, who's she? Maya. Maya gave seven stamps to her younger brothers. Well, Maya gave seven stamps to her younger brothers. She had to have given seven, sta seven of the stamps she had to her younger brothers. So if this is the bar for the stamp she had, that means those seven stamps that, that she gave to her younger brothers is actually going to be a part of this um, amount of stamps she had. So I'm going to uh, break up my stamps into a part and from here to here will be the seven stamps that Maya gave to her younger brothers. Okay, this is to the, her, her bros. <laughs> okay, next, um, have I taken care of the information in that sentence? She gave seven stamps to her younger brothers. Yes. Okay, check. Maya then had 14 stamps. Stop. Maya then had 14 stamps. Well, if this is the amount that she had, and this is the amount she gave away, well, this is the amount that she then had. So this must be right here, from this point to this point, must be the 14 stamps that Maya had. So from here to here is 14. And this is what she had left. Okay. Alright, have we taken care of the information in that sentence? Maya then had 14 stamps. Yes. Okay. Place a check mark. And finally, how many stamps did Maya have at first? That's the question mark right there. That's the question we're trying to find the answer to. Well, Maya had this many stamps at first, from here to here. And that's what we're trying to find. That's why the question mark is right there. Okay. Let's put the answer in a complete sentence before we begin. How many stamps did Maya have at first? Maya had blank stamps at first. Alright, 
Now, looking at this, it looks as if we are missing from here to here, and this would represent the entire bar, or the whole bar. Um, therefore, this is going to be, because we're missing the whole, this is going to be an, an addition problem. When we're missing the whole, we add, because we know the parts of 7 and 14 will be put together to make our whole. So I'll make a number sentence for that. 14 plus 7 equals, and if you need to do your work off to the side, please do your work off to the side. Remember, a number sentence always goes horizontal. This right here is not a number sentence. This is a number sentence because it's going across. All right, we have 4 plus 7 is 11. 11 is 110 and 11. One. And then we add up our tens. 1 plus 1, 2 tens is 20. We get our answer of 21. Okay, so that means once we get 21, we place that right back into our model, and we check. Does 7 and 14 make 21? Uh, 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 10 is 21. Yes, it does. All right, so we can put, um, let's go back to our, our question. Maya had blank stamps at first. Maya had, question mark, 21 stamps at first. And that is how we found our answer to this problem.